in the previous lecture we were doing the meshing project so we are going to continue so go to your project folder open up the file clip mesh 2 pick up this file and drag it and click on open and discard so previously we have done the meshing of this part and if you take a look at here till now we have done the meshing of the circular portion similarly the meshing of this planar part. Now we are going to do meshing of this circular section. So previously we have created a washer. So if you take a look at here, I will go to measure. You can see this washer is of value 0.6. Okay, so I will clear this and close. So now let's start meshing. Okay. So I will go to this best option and I will go to select. Now I am going to select all the surfaces including the circle. Ok. Now mesh it. So you can see the mesh that is created is not a good quality of mesh. It is a zigzag mesh and you can see lots of trias. So we have to improve this mesh. Now let's take a look at first at the circles. You can see this circle is meshed properly. All elements are quad element. If you go to number option, you can see there are 5, 5 here, again 5 and this is total 10. Okay. Now go to your left side. In this 5 on this side, 5 on this side. But here you can see tria 5 and 3. So we have to increase this number. So double click here. Click 2 times. Now you can see all trias. Similarly here, this is meshed properly and again here this is meshed properly. Ok, so our circles are meshed. Now, if you try to improve the meshing of this complete surface, it is going to be a tough work. So what we will do, we will split this into smaller sections. So let's say I will make split here. Go to cut option pick from here let's say make a project cut 90 degree here like this similarly from here make a project cut okay and one more cut i want to do is from this point let's say up to here again a project cut now many times it happens that such type of mesh is created and if you go to the length here go to your macro pick up the surface hit the roller you can see it is showing a range of 1 to 20 while we have selected only one as element size so if you want to avoid this what you can do is click on this cut option you can see a list of setting will open and pick and drag it so what we will have to do is from this mesh option right now reconstruct is selected click on this here if you go to erase mesh will be erased so i will select this option remesh macro okay all the settings will be remain as default so we have done cut off this so what i do i will make undo here and again create a cut this time you can see remesh option is selected so pick this point pick up to this line now you can see mesh flow has not destroyed like previously similarly i will make a cut here from this point let's say up to this point okay and again i will make one cut from here to here similarly here to here so the advantage of splitting into multiple section is we can have more control over number of element and meshing type and flow of mesh for a smaller section while it is not possible for a larger section so that is why it is suggested to break your surface into smaller parts so again from here to here let's say and let's say from this point up to here you can also select this point any point here so let's say from here to here again i will follow same process like this from this point up to here and here one more is remaining from this point up 
to this line okay it is showing some problem okay now it is okay so we have done the cut here first to make sure the element in your washer are proper or not you can see here elements are proper there are no trias okay now let's take a look at mesh here you can see mesh flow is very good in the upper part of the surface in the lower part there is a tria so we can take this tria to the left side what we will do go to number it is 2 so make it 3 here so mesh flow is a little bit distorted so let's change it again make it 7 and make it 8 so when you change the number you can see mesh flow also changes similarly here let's say i will make it 3 and make it 7 then make it 8 again okay 8 like this okay and it is 5 so let's say make it 4 okay 5 so again if you go to this length option pick up this and hit the roller you can see again length is showing 1 to 20 so in this case what we have to do is again if you go to number here select remesh macro so with this you can see the flow has not uh, destroyed as previously so make it 8 and once again make it 5 similarly here let's say i will make 2 here then 3 make 2 make 3 okay when you change the number the flow also improve let's say one, once again make it 9 and 8 so we will improve this by ourselves now if you take a look at here uh, i will make it 8 and make 3 here similarly on this other side also let's say make it 5 here make it 8 make it 8 so first let's try to improve the mesh here in this case what uh, we can do is let's try some other option you can make it also one more cut let's say go to cut from here to here now you can see with this cut the flow has improved similarly from here to here here the flow has not improved so again we have to do some more split so pick up this point let's say i will make split here and you can see flow has improved again but you can see these two tria will cancel each other so for this we can use the reconstruct option also if we want to improve the number you can make it 3 okay there is also one more option i will do undo here in such type of situation you can go to let's say i will pick pick and drag it little bit down you can go to shell reconstruct select okay so then select these points or elements then pick up again and again okay in this way it will also cancel each other similarly let's go to this section here what i do i will also make a cut here go to cut from from this point up to here similarly here to here okay so here we have to make some changes so number increase the number first then decrease it okay again make it 3 and then make it 4 okay make it 3 now you can see this tria will go outside here okay so make it 4 but in that case it is making geometry like this so in such situation what we can do i will go to let's say reconstruct we will see what reconstruct will do okay let's see what this option will do okay now you can see these two tria can be combined so to do this what we can do i will go to swap click on this edge and now you can join them so you can see flow is not good so you can improve the flow using smooth option go to smooth here select select these elements where we have to do smooth function like this click click and 
finish okay now only these sections are remaining so you can see upper section has improved automatically but here we need to do some manual work so go to number let's say make it 5 again make it 5 so you can see these two trias are causing problem so let's say I will make number 3 here okay now you can see this trial is extra so it will go let's say make it 4 and there there are two trial that has combined so what we can do we can join them go to join click on this now let's go to this section here you can see two opposite trials so you can use the reconstruct option let's see will it work or not select these rows of element click on this click and it is working okay here you can see two opposite trias so we can increase the number go to number make it three now you can swap the edge go to swap pick this edge okay now join now let's go to the top face okay here uh, okay it looks like we have not able to do this so I will do swap edge swap it and join it okay now let's go to, to this top section here increase the number 3 number here make 8 now only these two elements are creating problem so we can reconstruct this select them and let's say select all these element like this then next next and next cancel so in this way you can see meshing of this section is done and you can see we have been able to capture it in a much better way you can see in some area flow is not good so here what we will do is we will use the smooth function here go to okay cancel this go to smooth function select let's say I will select these element here So you can hold down the left click and drag the mouse to pick up elements like this similarly here pick the element leave the circular element and improve the flow so you can see the meshing is done here so now let's do meshing of the remaining part here so we can select all these surfaces at once because these are mostly planar surfaces so go to best click on select okay click click on this face this one this one this one this one this one this one and mesh it hit the ruler you can see mesh flow is again in most section mesh flow is good but again uh, here one thing we have missed that first we have to mesh these fillets okay so undo first mesh these fillets otherwise it will create mismatch number of element so here okay here go to best select this one this one this one and then again select these sur all these surfaces one by one like this and now hit the roller now you can see two trias so there should be no trial on to the fillet section so we have to reduce number so number two number reduce so here you can see number is 41 so we can also go to this number select this age this age number is 43 highlighting hit the roller now insert number 41 and click ok with this option number will be selected on both ages but here also number is 1 so make 2 2 also number 2 2 so we can remap this go to regenerate select this face and ok here meshing is done ok this face now also we have to do a uh, two layer of element on these fillets also so number 2 here two here and two here similarly on the opposite side number two here and two here two here 
so here you can see it has automatically done the two layer of element also you can use this remap option if it is not working so here you will see two triads so you can combine them so we we'll go to join and make it as a quad okay now let's go to this part also go to best and select this one this one this one and this one select all make sure equal number of element here so go to number first check the number so go to number here you can see number is 43 so if you make 41 there will be no try so again go to number select this one this one hit the roller insert 41 and okay so again make two here go to select two 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 here not here here uh, here okay it is 41 now go to remap here map regenerate select this fillet okay now two layer of element here so we have to improve mesh flow onto this part also you can see there is a curvature so in this case what we will do i will make a cut split so from here to here create cut similarly let's say here to here make a cut here you can reduce the number to our trial make it two times to make 33 now here it is a little bit quite challenging so again we will insert a hot point here let's say somewhere in between let's say here like this and make equal number of element here 4 and here 4 so now use this option of 4 sided select this next and finish similarly we will insert a hot point here to make it a quad let's say here number make it 4 make it 4 again 4 sided select here next next and done so only this smaller part of the complete face is remaining so we will do mesh in the similar way here so cut here from here to here here to here okay and again insert a hot point here also let's say here here make it 4 make it 4 then 4 sided pick here next next now only this portion is remaining so click here next okay we have to increase the number first make it 4 and 4 now you can see mesh is done so press escape so you have to make sure uh, there are still some unmeshed area to highlighting here so make a right click i will say show only and for the fit view press f9 okay it is not showing any surface could be due to hot point or something okay so meshing of this is done here so i will select this file i will save it so this is my clip mesh this is final and save it